the sturgeon full moon, the third supermoon of the summer, is to take its place on the grand celestial stage Thursday night. This would typically thrill avid sky watchers, but many people will instead be looking up to the sky hoping to see the annual Perseid meteor shower, which is forecast to reach its spectacular mid-August peak early Friday morning. Like other skyward phenomena, you'll have your best chance to see the Perseids, which NASA calls the best meteor shower of the year, during the natural darkness of nighttime and where skies are free of light pollution. Even in major metropolitan areas, the intensity of the meteor shower, which launches 50 to 100 meteors per hour, can typically be seen during the overnight and early morning hours. Because a supermoon brightens the skies, its simultaneous presence may cut the number of visible meteors in half. Indeed. See, Moonrise Thursday is at 8.26 p.m. Eastern. The moon is officially full at 9.36 p. Eastern. The moon is always reflecting light from the sun when it appears in the sky. Supermoons, which occur when a full moon is at its closest to Earth in its orbit, known as perigee, appear even larger and brighter than normal. Sky watchers everywhere should be able to catch a glimpse of the Perseids even with the supermoon's interference although they may need to prepare more, and be a little luckier than usual. Sky and Telescope magazine says that while ordinary Perseid meteors might be harder to see because of the supermoon, fireballs should still be quite visible. A fireball is a meteor that streaks across the sky at the same brightness as or a greater brightness than the planet Venus, according to the American Meteor Society often sparking dazzling displays of color. Larger chunks of comets produce more fireballs, so it makes sense that the Perseids fire off many of them. The parent body of the Perseids, the comet Swift Tuttle, is quite large at 26 kilometers. A team led by NASA's Bill Cook, who heads the agency's Meteoroid Environments Office, recorded 568 fireballs coursing through the sky during showers between 2008 and 2013, the most of any other meteor shower in that time frame, according to Sky and Telescope. To optimize the chances of seeing the Perseids, even without being lucky enough to catch a bright fireball, there are some best practices for seeing a vivid night sky.